Montetta BCW supplies, and this is the BCW Super Monster Storage Box. If you're using this to store a traditional baseball card like these top cards from the 80s, this will hold 5,000 cards. If you're using this for thinner cards, such as Magic the Gathering cards, it will hold 7,000 cards. Now BCW, it's a similar box, and I want to compare the two so you can decide what's best for your needs. This is the BCW 5000 count storage box. You can see that this has the full lid that goes all the way down to the bottom, whereas in the Super Monster has this half lid. Now the Super Monster has slightly wider rows than the 5000 count box. I'm going to line up the back of these two here, and you can see that the Super Monster sticks out a little bit more because these rows are all slightly wider than the 5000 count. When you get the Super Monster storage box, it will likely be flat and in several different pieces. This is the bottom. This is the lid, and you have four dividers. I'm going to do a quick folding demonstration. Essentially just fold on all of the pre-scored lines. On the sides here, note that there is a double score line, and you're going to want to fold both of them. on the sides there, wrap the other side over the top. Same thing, wrap that around the top. And you're going to want to push down on the top here, pushing these tabs into the hole on the bottom. And then set aside the lid, and I'll do these four dividers quickly. Again, on these dividers, there's a double score line, so make sure that you fold both of those lines so that you get nice square edges on top. Make sure you fold these tabs to the outside, making a T-shape. One more. Okay, now the bottom. Same thing on the sides here, there's some double scores. Make sure you get both of those in, in advance, that'll help. Okay, it gets a little tricky here. First, I'm gonna fold up the sides and hold that together. Bring in your first divider down on the end here. Bring over the top. Push down this first flap. Bring in your second divider. Push down the second flap. Third divider in the third flap. And your last divider. All right, I don't have these tabs pushed in all the way yet. I'm gonna come back in a second. Okay, same thing on the other side. Bring in your sides. Making sure that these flaps go to the outside. Okay, I'm gonna bring over the top here. Work your way down the line, pulling these tabs over the top. Okay, now we're gonna go in, push in all of these tabs. And on the bottom, there are some holes, and you're gonna wanna push these tabs down into those holes, push it in tight, and then push down on the top here. on the other side, push the tabs in until they click into place, 
push down on the top, you are all done.